performance of the MBTA with a lot of focus on the subway lines in the city, but the commuter rail is coming under fire as well, including major issues with on-time performance. Please be joined this morning by Representative uh, Jeffrey Roy, State Rep of Franklin, who will be hosting a meeting in Franklin tonight about the issues on the commuter rail. Jeff, good to see you. Appreciate you coming in. Great to be here. Thanks. Uh, let's let's talk about the commuter. What, what do you see right now as the biggest issues of concern for you when it comes to the commuter rail? Uh, reliability and getting people into Boston on time. Um, I'm hearing repeated complaints from uh, constituents who are either stranded, uh, left you know, half hour delays, 15 minute delays, uh, overcrowded cars, uh, those types of issues. And it's, it's a pattern that has emerged and has led to us having our meeting in Franklin. Today. And you're talking about on time performance to the Franklin line, your hometown, uh, the performance since October, September, October has only been about 79 percent, right. slightly above 79 percent of the time. That's right. not a very acceptable number, I wouldn't think. Not at all. It's uh, It's been the worst performing line on the entire commuter rail system for a long time now. Uh, some improvements have been made. Uh, we were doing well at the beginning of 2019, but uh, in come October, it took an enormous dip. And, and I can tell because my Twitter feed lights up, my right. Facebook messaging, my sure. email. Yeah, you'll uh, hear from your up. constituents, right. absolutely. Uh, let's talk about what may be the problem here. Is there any correlation between the problems you're seeing and the timing of it and the pilot program that started in Foxborough uh, about the same time these issues started to surface? I'm told that there is no correlation between the Fox Foxborough line and what's happening. But uh, that seems to me to be an enormous coincidence. That's certainly something that we'll explore at the meeting tonight. Um, I'm told much of it is mechanical failures and uh, that's been a problem for years uh, that the trains are getting overhauled and they're coming back at a rate of one per month and if they can get the uh, trains working better that's uh, one solution. Another solution is uh, of the 21 miles of track uh, going from Franklin to Boston, mm -hmm. 16 miles a single track. So if somebody gets disabled on that right. single trap, trap that uh, that will block every other piece from moving. Get back to the Foxborough component here uh, for a moment. Is it, what was, it seems to be a lot of attention and a lot of resources applied to that. Uh, we've heard a lot about it. What was the idea that, that the benefit of that would be to begin with? Well, it was to get another area served mm -hmm. by the rail service. And I think another issue to address was parking. I think parking is one of the biggest issues along any commuter rail line. Uh, if you don't get there by 6 in the morning, you're not going to get a parking space. And Gillette Stadium uh, has, to, has one commodity that's <laughs> uh, incredible parking. and sure. it's available during the day. And they had rail going there, so they introduced it in the hopes that they could get people to move away from some of these other spots. Yeah, I know a lot of rail stations around the Commonwealth have seen uh, an increase in apartment buildings. Uh, built right on the tracks, that's taking away parking that used to be there, and then the price is also exorbitant. How do you handle the parking situation? Because that is one of the big complaints we hear, too, right. from folks, is that A, it's a lot to park, to pay, and B, there just aren't enough spaces. Well, I can tell you, for example, downtown Franklin, $6 a day to park. I, I don't know who pays $6 to park in downtown Franklin, but that's uh, their way is to charge less at some lots, $2 at some lots, right. $4 at some lots, 6 is uh, one of the top prices to try to move people around to other lots. You'll have reps from uh, the MBTA and Keolis at the meeting tonight. What, what are some of the things you want to hear from them? Well, we want to hear what some things that they've been doing to improve. They've been uh, implementing double track. That uh, is in process. Should be Some of it should be open by the end of this year. They're going to do some additional double track next year locomotives coming online. Want, want people to know that they are listening, they are hearing our mm -hmm. complaints, and this is something we do on a regular basis, is have these meetings. We want to show what is being done about it and want them to hear from people about other things that they can do to And it's open for anybody who who's, uh, rides the T or commuter rail or anything and wants to participate, it's open to them tonight. Where's this yeah, happening? Absolutely. At? This is happening at the Franklin Municipal Building and uh, it's a town hall 353 uh, East Central Street in downtown Franklin. All right. State Rep. Jeff Roy, appreciate you coming in this morning. Thank you Always so much. Always good to talk to you. Good to see All you. Right.